Hi everyone! Welcome back to Sam and Cod Playtime! I'm ready to play with you today! I'm so glad you found our channel! Don't forget to go back and watch our other videos in our Algebra series. And this one's going to be the next one. If you haven't watched the others, go watch the others and then come back and watch this one, okay? Here we go! So I got to thinking last night about how in your house there's probably rules when you go to eat that you probably just take for granted that you don't think about every single day. When you go to eat food, you don't just dump it all on a table and start mixing it around and then just grab from that. No, when you go to eat your food, you put it in bowls, you put it in plates, and you set it out on your table. And you can take from certain bowls and put it on your plate, but everything's neat. Everything's organized. Everything's kind of clean. Like, what would happen if you had a can of cat food and you just dumped it on your kitchen table? Just just rubbed it into your kitchen table. And then you added a can of SpaghettiOs on top of that and just rubbed all that in. And then let's say that, so you got your cat fed, you got you fed. Let's say we have dessert. Let's say we say take a big chocolate cake. Like we're talking a big one. What if we just smack that on top and rub it into everything else, into the SpaghettiOs, into the cat food. And then you're going to want something to drink, so let's just pour like a big bottle of Sprite all over that. Would you want to then go and eat that? No! Ew! Do you know how bad that would taste? That would be horrible! It would leave dirty goo just oozing off the counter. You would be slopping it with your hand, not silver. Ew! That's disgusting! That's so nasty! You would never eat like that because it's messy and dirty and ooh. So what do we do instead? What's the answer? What do we do instead? Well, first we would feed the cat. So you would get the cat's bowl. <laughs> you would put the cat food in the cat's bowl. Then you'd set it on the floor for the cat. We love the cat. The cat's wonderful. But you don't want to eat the cat's food. You want the cat to eat the cat's food. So for your food, you would then fix your spaghettios. You would open the can. You'd put it in a bowl, not a plate, because it would go like, you just ooze off the plate. You gotta put that in a bowl, because it's soup like, okay? So you'd put it in a little bowl. You'd put that to the side, you'd eat that. When you're done with that, then you'd want some cake. So you'd get a big slice of cake, but you're gonna put that on something separate. You don't want it going in the bowl, you just ate your spaghetti out of, because there's like all this tomato -y sauce in there, and you don't want that on your cake. You would want your cake to have its own clean plate. Then when you're done with that, you would want your Sprite. Did I say Sprite? I think I said Sprite. You would want that in a cup. You would want that inside. You're not going to pour that Sprite in a plate and just watch it go everywhere. You're going to put it in a cup, and you're going to drink it that way. Well, guess what? In math, it's the same way. You don't take your entire problem and just dump it on the table, and mix it all up. Ew! That's messy. It's nasty. It stinks. You don't want to do that. Instead, we take math, very clean, very organized, very lovely, and we put it in little containers. We put it where it needs to go. If it needs a bowl, it gets a bowl. If it gets a plate, it gets a plate. If it needs a cup, it gets a cup. But it all gets put in separate places so that it's not all just this big, nasty, bleh, okay? <laughs> no one wants to go up to a mouth problem and go, oh my gosh, that looks like throw up. You don't want to touch that. You don't want to go near that. So instead, we need it to look very, very pretty, clean, and nice, and wonderful, okay? So, today... I've got, remember how we talked about parentheses being like to-go sacks, okay? I've got two different to-go sacks here, okay? I made an order. Here's my first sack, my first parentheses sack, where all the food's going to go into. Everything that's in this first parentheses, parentheses here, parentheses here. That's the little, the little C bracket things, our parentheses. That first order is all going to go in this bag. So I 
me and my friend are getting ready to have dinner together. Okay, she's coming over. We're going to watch movies. We're going to have, later on, we're going to have popcorn. But first, we're going to have dinner. So I went to the local chicken place, and I bought a chicken dinner for us to eat. And it all went in my sack. Now, what's in my sack is for me and my friend, I got two orders of green beans. So we'd each have our own. I got one order of potatoes. I thought we could share the potatoes. And then I got three orders of chicken. Because I didn't know how hungry she was going to be. She might want like, you know, order half. I didn't know. So in my bag, I bought us two orders of green beans, one order of potatoes, and three orders of chickens. But my friend misunderstood. And she thought she was supposed to go and get food. So when she came to my house, she had her own bag of food. So we have my whole order plus now and we have her whole order right here. But my friend did not order the same thing I did. My friend got three orders of green beans. She got two orders of potatoes because she did not want to share potatoes. She loves potatoes. And she only got one order of chicken because she's not that big on eating meat. So she only got one order. She thought that would be fine for the both of us. So now we've got all this food. Well, before we go to eat, we want to organize it on our table. This right here is my dining room table. Okay? And we're going to take all this food out of the sacks. I'm going to take the sacks away. Ready? That's everything that was in my sack. You can take the sacks away. That's okay. Did you know you can do that? You can take your food out of sacks totally okay to do. Let's take these sacks away because we took it all out of the sack. So now we have two orders of green beans plus one order of potatoes and an order of chicken and three orders of green beans and two orders of potatoes and one order of chicken. Well, that's too messy. That That's a lot of containers. We need to, my table's not big enough to hold all these bowls. It will only hold three bowls nicely. So we're going to put all this food very nicely into the three bowls. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all my green beans. We're going to find all the green beans. Here's my first order of green beans. That's not green beans. That's not green beans. Oh, that is. That is green beans. That's not green beans. That's not green beans. So we're going to add our two orders of green beans together, and we're going to put them in a bowl of just green beans. Okay? There's my green beans. So I've got two orders of green beans, plus I've got three orders of green beans. Two plus three equals five. Did I do that the right way? I'm looking at it upside down. Yes. Five orders of green beans all together. That's all my green beans. I took these two green beans, and I added it to these three green beans. I put them nicely in one bowl down here of green beans. Okay? Now, we're going to do that again. Now, we got to gather up all of our potatoes. Potatoes. I love potatoes. We are very Irish in this house. We love our potatoes. Okay, so I've got one order of potatoes here. I've got two orders of potatoes over here. So we're going to add the one order of potatoes to the two order of potatoes. So there, that's one plus two. How many potatoes is that? Well, that's going to give us three order of potatoes in this one bowl. Okay? Very nice. Very neatly done. Let's keep going. Now we got to deal with our chicken. Remember, I ordered a lot of chicken. I ordered three orders of chicken. My friend only ordered one order of chicken. So when we put all that chicken, let's draw my little chicken, we need to, I know, I'm horrible at drawing. When we put all this together, that's going to be three orders plus one order. That's three plus one, and that's going to give us four orders of chicken. Now, I've got five green beans. Let me get a different marker, actually. Uh, what color should I use? We'll use this color. So now, on my table, I have a bowl that is filled with five orders of green beans, and I have a bowl that's filled with three orders of potatoes, and, that's what that plus sign is, that's your and, that plus sign is your and, and I have four 
or I have one bowl full of four orders of chicken. Now, did you follow that? I've got three different bowls, but they all have different amounts in them, and that's okay. Because when we go to eat now, it's all organized. We can just take from each bowl and put what we want on our own plate. This is very nice. This is very organized. It looks so much better than this chaos. This was chaos. This is nice and pretty and on my table. Now we're ready to watch our movie. Now we're ready to watch. And our movie night can start. And we can have fun. Because everything's nice and clean. There it is. So you can see it. I hope you understood. And I hope that you got this today. Tomorrow we're going to learn more. Okay. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We need those subscribes and we need those likes. Okay. I hope you had a great time and we'll learn more tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Have a really great day. <laughs> Bye.